Well, hello and welcome again to part two of Eval's City Skyline playthrough. Uh, after last edition, all I've done is let the going run for a little bit to build up some cash so that I can put in lots of new stuff without having to worry about how much money I've got. Now, at the moment, I've got a kind of an industrial area over here got a commercial buffer zone here so all of this is going to be industrial and I've got some residential. I haven't really thought what I'm going to do here. This is going to be my main road I think and I'm going to stick residential mainly in here to feed these guys over here. I've already started putting in a few parks to make it nice and attractive but really I need to I need to start building a lot of houses and what I want to try and do is make this not an attractive place to go for lorries so I'm not going to have that many roads out of it and I'm also going to try and make sure that there's not too many intersections so to achieve that I think I'm going to do something like this so I've already got a dead end here which is cool I'm going to fill this up with roads and parks and residential so let's get the old rude tool out. I want it on Mendes because we do not have straight roads in Evarville. I think that's probably a better name than you will. Uh, I hope some people are going to come up with some names for my districts. That would be cool. Uh, now I've got the age old problem of. I've got some sh snapping turned on here. I want to try and get these to fit fairly closely together. Is that going to work? Push it back a bit. Mm, kind of okay. And uh, do I put a point in right here? Oh, 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 can't undo. Darn, okay. Don't want that there. It's a wrong one. a bit straightish and then a curve ooh, ooh, ooh. Why, why is it pushing the curve out like that that's a bit more like it and I'm not actually going to join this up with here so I can leave a bit of space I don't want to hit that back garden there there we go so all these are going to be dead ends, so the only people who are going to be using them are hopefully going to be the local residents. So now we've got that in, let's zone it up for some residential and I hope that people start moving into my lovely pastoral suburbs. Oh, there's a lot to put in here, but hopefully this will give a big boost to my economy and probably crime wave and things burning down and all that good stuff. Oh, commercial wants some more, which is probably about right, because I don't have many commercial at all. So I'll plop some more of those down in there. Now there was a way of comparing zoning. I've forgotten where it is. I can see the overall. No. Hmm, where is it? I'm pretty sure there was a comparison of how many zones you had of what type. It's hidden away somewhere. No, that's not it. It's not there either. Hmm, okay. Oh, I'll just have to do it by eye, but that's looking fine. Demand's still good for residential. Let's speed it up just a little bit so we don't have to wait around. We've got bonus people coming in, which is good. We're still making money, which is excellent. Let's 
put some more residential in that. Feed the fires of population. This road here is probably going to get heavily upgraded at some point, so I'm not going to build right on it because I'm going to be making it much wider and it will probably have interchanges and all sorts of nastiness going on. So that's, that's looking pretty sweet. Okay, we seem to have satisfied our residential demand for the time being. So, let's start doing some industrial. I'm going to just fill that with roads going up this way, I think, and just fill this area with industrial. This is going to become a major traffic hotspot if it is not already. Which it is like, look at this burning red sign. I'm going to have to do some kind of interchangey thing here to split off the traffic. The residential is quite low. Oh, and people complaining about power. I keep on having problems with power with these guys. And is it? Yeah, it is because I'm actually on the border of generating enough. So let's whack another windmill in here. Hopefully, at some point soon. Uh, I've got about 25% to go before the next achievement point for my city and hopefully then I'll get the ones that I can put out into the into the water where they might be taking up valuable land space. Okay, so hopefully that's... This is always seems to be the place that runs out of electricity first, so I'll keep an eye on that. It's like the canary in the coal mine. Alright, so let's satisfy this need for commercial, which probably means wiping out some commercial blocks somehow. Let's try and find a small one, they're all quite large. Uh, I'll take one off the back maybe here, and run it alongside there. Yeah. That looks about right. Maybe a bit wider than it needs to be. A lot wider than it needs to be. Mm. Well, that's only too wide. Uh, I made a cock up there. Let's try that again. And now it's gone dark, so it's hard to see. So I only want it. Not like that. Can I do that? Naturalistic. Oh well, never mind. The thing is that these these might become big major roads later. So, oh. no, my sense of neatness is offended by that. I'm afraid. Um, I'll maybe try and do it without starting actually on the existing road. Like this, for instance. Is that? Ah, uh, that's much better. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, it needs to be... Uh, some of them are a bit on the short side, but can't be helped. Another little curve there. And this doesn't want to bend how I want it to bend. Yep. And finally around that corner there. Super. Oh, and now they want residential again. Uh, well, make your minds up. I'll just put in all this lovely other stuff here. Oh, did I make sure they were all watered? Yeah, they are. And that almost is. Let's just explode these pipes out there. Make sure no one's dehydrating. Let's close you up there. I don't want you. Okay, so lots of residential demand, throw some more residential in. Click, 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 click. I suppose I could use a paint tool for this, but yeah, this is fine like this. So we've got some lovely ticky tacky talk tacky boxes on the hillside, and some of them going down the hillside. 
There's a lot of demand. Wow, look at those shoot up. I probably need to watch some of my budget things that I've lowered. Um, let's have a quick appraisal of how the city's going. So, we've got electricity yeah, everywhere we need it. Oh, we've almost joined across here. I was going to come down this way down here, but mm, I don't think I need to. Oh, better put in another couple of windmills. Alright, that should do for the electricity. Water, plenty of that. Uh, land, okay, that's fine at the moment. I think I turn this down. I better check that. Nine of nine. Okay, so let's let's let them have all of them. Oh, a hundred percent. Oh, ah, no, 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 no. Mouse is a little bit sensitive. It also seems like clicking on the wrong thing. Stop! Okay, so we've got that working flat out. So everyone should be having their poop taken away. Oh, did I? Right, idiot. I need to connect this up or else it's not going to ever develop. Oh no, bit of a straight road. There we go. So that's looking good. I haven't actually got any complaints from anyone about no electricity or anything like that, which is always good. Still an absolute ton of residential demand. Right, so let's fill in these areas here, which will require knocking down some people's houses, but we can't really avoid that. Oh, not straight roads. Never the straight roads. And I'm only going to make these kind of little bits that cut in here. I'm not going to link them up with the other side because you know, junctions do tend to cause problems. Oh, a bit further over. Well, that's doing a straight road, and I don't want that, but it won't kind of let me snap. Let's try it on this side then. Side a bit too. No. No, 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 do not like. This is proving harder than I thought. One must have the aesthetics. Oh, let's just have that lot like that then. And fill that up with residential as well. So the thing is, this will be quite nice because no one's going to be tempted to use this as a rat run and drive their cars through there to get to that upper or the lower road because they just don't reach anywhere. I'll fill up the other side, which should hopefully keep the traffic down to a, a comfortable minimum. Um, this is... We, you must be curved. There's no... There we go. <laughs> Trying to force this thing to accept having curvature and everything. I have kind of left some uneconomic gaps in there, but hey, at least it means that people have got big gardens, eh? Fill all these in. I'm hearing some dings, so people are upgrading their property. They're liking, they're liking the area, which is good. Oh, and we've got some more commercial demand. I've still got some space in my commercial area to fill up. That's lovely. I'll help keep the sound down. And it's it's looking delicious. Peaceful and quiet over here, and we've got some little green arrows as houses upgrade and stuff. Quiet, quiet, and then noisy over here. We can actually look at the noise graph, and I'm so I'm thinking that's that's looking pretty nice. Um, not quite sure about the pumping station over uh, the sewerage outlet there, or why it would be so noisy. 
but there we go and <laughs> as indicated by all the traffic here we we haven't got any jams yet but this is going to be a thing oh boontan i have right i've gone to the next stage i now can do some transport stuff like putting buses and whatnot i have more unique buses oh uh, u unique buildings and i can have a bus excellent i can also specialize for ore i don't think i've got any of that I've got a couple new policies, recycling and recreational use of drugs, and some access to some prefabs. I also did some little roundabouts myself, some little sort of UK roundabouts, because there don't seem to be many put in the game by default, and I'll be using those later. They're not, not very good thumbnails, but uh, they should hopefully work. I haven't tried them out yet, I just built them in the asset editor. So that's that's great. I can do a lot more stuff. I'm definitely into having a bunch of buses and getting some of this this traffic down. Um, I'm also hoping... Do I have access to planning policies in zones yet? No, not yet. Uh, do I want to do any of these new ones? Recycling costs a little bit uh, and reduces garbage accumulation slightly hmm. I don't know I think I've, I've kind of got a green policy in the town so in the city so I, I, I think I should do that I'm kind of inclined to do that as well now we're earning a bit of money let's get people using less water and less power that's always a good thing save the planet and all that so that's, that's excellent um, my demands flattening off a bit I might have to change my taxes, but people are still moving in, they still like the place, so that's, that's good stuff. Oh, we've got reasonable coverage for dustbin, uh, rubbish collections, though I notice that some people down here aren't getting theirs done. Uh, 14 or 15 trucks, okay, so that's working at max capacity now, and it's almost half full. I need to keep an eye on that. Let's then have a look at healthcare. Oh, that seems to be enough of that. The average health is 57%. Oh, I think that's because I've got that turned down, isn't it? Oh, why am I suddenly losing tons of money? Is this because of my new policies I've just put in? It shouldn't be costing me that much. I haven't put anything hugely expensive in that. It's absolutely soaking up thousands a week at the moment. I need to find out why. And it's just getting worse. Uh, hello? <laughs> what's using all the money? Let's have a look at the budgetary power. Um, I did put five... what was it? I put rubbish up to maximum. That should be just fine. Uh, what's, what's the highest of these? Well, they all, all seem to be comfortable. Hmm. Well, I can take the hit for a little bit. Oh, I'm hoping it's just because I'm waiting for some people to move in here, but this, most of this seems to be fairly well upgraded now. Um, okay, well, let's put in more residential, and hopefully that will encourage more people and make more money. So, let's get some roads in. Now, again, I'm not going to really connect up through here. I want some kind of green belt bit running through here. Um, what I'm thinking is maybe... There should be enough parks, I'm hoping. I'll take in a road from here. This is going to be a bit odd, but it's, what I'm going to do is deliberately divide the housing estate. Let's come off to this side, because this is the bigger side. And that's going to come right there. And we'll feed the left-hand side of the estate. And then we'll also have one coming up from here. Should we make it here? I don't know. I could. I, I think I'll just pull them in off the sides here. That would be the best. Well, not the best thing, but we cheapest. So let's get some more roads running across. That's nice. And I should be able to fit one in about halfway across. Yeah. I quite like having a little bit of green space in there. It allows me to drop in some extra trees. The overall density down a bit, and thus the sound. Um, I wonder if I can just brush over. 
with a big brush. Now we oh, oh, wrong stuff. <laughs> Oops. Banged a load of commercial in there by accident. Let's turn this all into residential around here. Superb. And let's put some roads off of here. Looking pretty sweet. Oh, um, I'll move that up a little bit. I don't have to have too much green space in there. And a final one in here, maybe. Oh, no, it doesn't. The snapping point's a bit ropey. It's kind of encroaching in those black gardens a bit. Hmm. Actually, you know what I'll do? So I'm going to come in from this side here instead. That's it. That's going to be more comfortable. If I can get my turn point in the correct place. There we go. I might even be able to fit a park in there. I can't. Where are the parks? I think there's already one quite close by. Mm, we'll see. The thing is, they don't seem to be affecting these guys over here or these guys over here, so I might have to plonk some more in. Uh, something smallish. Wasn't there a small playground? Maybe. Let's try that in there. And one in there. So hopefully, yep, yeah, everything's turning a nice shade of cyan now. We finally reached a depth of entertainment that's pushing the whole zone over the edge into the next thing. Maybe somewhere up here? Well, there aren't a lot of residential up here, and there is going to be a massive interchange there. But it doesn't hurt to keep people happy. They pay more taxes and things. I'm still hemorrhaging money through the nose here. I've really got to have a look at that. can hear a lot of upgrading noises, which is good. Uh, no industrials moved in up there. What's the problem? I've not zoned it, that's why. Silly me! I missed that! Let's get all of this, come on. We need money, we need it fast. Get building sims. Fill out this all. Let's go on down there. Okay, so our city of lumberjacks has just had a massive boost in the requirement for even more lumberjacks. Uh, we should probably need some clothing factories to make all those check shirts for them. And the residential over here. Lots of places for our lumberjacks to live. I missed that one there. Growth rate is a bit slow. Ah. Maybe if I turn it up a bit, the speed up. There we go. I just love watching this scaffolding. Let's build this house here. I think I might put some footpaths going through the back here. Oh, that's a lovely, lovely residence. I'd live there myself. Uh, yeah, put some footpaths through to encourage use of the parks. Imagine that one, that's touching there, so if I put a footpath through here... Where is it? <laughs> Which one's footpaths? That is it. Yes, it is. Silly me. Um, now do I... I don't actually need to snap to the roads. There we go. People can walk through there, and people can walk through here. It's not very neat, but it does the job and it stops the traffic from going through there. How's the budget hanging? It's still not brilliant. I'm obviously overpaying for a service or something, I think. I should have taken a note of what I did just before uh, auto-save. 
breakfast before I did all that. Okay, well, I've got to wait for people to move in. Um, I'm wondering if I'm missing a service. I'm hearing ding, so clearly people are happy about what's going on. And they're liking the place. I wonder if I can fit in another little road in there just to fill up this area. Some mansions or something built there, those are quite nice big places. Uh, let's just finish off filling this all in with the residentials. Why isn't that one? There we go, it's working now. It's starting to look pretty packed over here. Is that because there, there's a part there getting in the way? Okay, you get in the way then. No. I'm not going to put footpaths all over the place to get through that. There are a couple of other places where I might have done it, like here and here. I'm going to watch and see how this works because I've not tried it before. Using the footpaths to connect through rather than letting them have intersections because I, I want the traffic to be fairly free flowing, really. And I also don't want that nasty thing where you suddenly find rogue trucks ploughing through bits of your uh, suburban neighbourhoods making a lot of noise. Oh, we've got dead people, we've got fires. Okay, um, I've got... Um, yeah, I can have a cemetery. Now, cemeteries are surprising things because they have quite a positive effect on the outlying areas. Um, so it's probably not a bad thing to put it in with a bunch of houses. Let's put it just... That's going to wreck a lot of people's houses, isn't it? That's not so bad because they haven't built on the other side of the road. Um, I also want them to be able to access that main street there, so maybe it might be safer or a better idea to have it. Um, I don't know. I'm really, really, really torn about this. A lot of places I can't even put it because all the curves and stuff, and it is a big, big thing. Um, have, I, have I made a a noose for my own potato. It's still losing money. Oh, I'm really going to have to start dealing with this. What's going on? Let's put it on pause for a second. And do some mental arithmetic. Now I'm thinking... Oh, wow! Okay, education. I didn't mean to do that. That's a bit more like it. Uh... My out games are still higher though. Sure, you can't really see what these are on a big screen, okay. Electricity is costing quite a bit, but there's no two ways about that. Gotta have electricity. Um. Well, let's see how that goes with just that one change. I don't know if it recalculates on the fly. Still losing 3,000, so I've got about 10 weeks to go before I run out of money. Mm. I'm not quite sure why, why I'm suddenly being hit for all this crash. Anyway, I, d I definitely need to get that cemetery in because people will get annoyed and move out. Uh, oh, that's a lot of people. That's, mm, that's not going to fit in there. Oh god, this is terrible placing. Uh, is that not fairly good? Yeah. Let's see how that works out. <laughs> oh dear, the money, the money goes out. I do hope I don't have to take a loan. That's the general level of happiness. That's improving. I was only on 68% before, which was a bit low. Um, 58 rather, so that's improved some things. No, I saw something need to be demolished here. There we go. Someone left because of all the corpses. I think they probably did. I should have checked the reason for leaving earlier. He's not getting the education he needs. They're not getting the workers they need. There's dead people over here, dead people over here. Yeah, that, that's quite an issue. And <laughs> so people just leave. I guess I probably would too if I worked in a workplace where there was just like corpses lying around on the floor. That would probably, probably make me leave. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it to a man. 
well uh, hopefully anyway the new cemetery will service those needs we just need to wait for it to kick in ah, I'm still losing a fair bit of money but it's a bit less ah, to tweak this budget some more let's have a look at police and fire again so I've only got one fire station and it's not really covering a lot of the area uh, he's got six of six and his funding is almost on full okay let's see if I can get that exactly right there we go um, education well that was an issue before I'll fix that hopefully I haven't got enough spaces for people in school. That's annoying. Healthcare. That's, I suppose I could bring this down. It seems like my capacity is way higher than it needs to be, though my six citizens is quite high. So maybe if I've got some pollution coming in here, spoiling the, the game. Right, I've got a couple of buildings to demolish, because it's clearly something bad happened there. Oops. I'm hearing bings. Things are getting better, but my but oh my god, I'm almost at rock bottom. I, I need to pause and slow down. Let's see what the problem is here. Is I'm all rather depressed at the moment. My requirements. Oops. If I press that. What was I looking for? I can't see, I mean, I can't see anything hideously wrong, I, it's just everything's a bit low level at the moment. Oh, I've only got two weeks worth of money left. I might have to raise taxes or get a loan. I was hoping this wouldn't happen, but I don't, I don't, I don't seem to be able to stop it. No, minimum speed, please. Oh, lordy. Um, yeah... What have I done wrong? Is, that, is what I have to ask. I mean, there's loads of residential now. I've got to wait for them to come up, and I have spelt, spent quite a bit of money. And there's people moving in all the time, but it's just not fast enough. Um, I'm 25% off my next milestone, when hopefully I'll be given a big bag of cash then. Oh. And I got less money than the weeks left. Oh, what's going on here? We've got no water. Can I afford to even give you water? Mm. I think I'm, I'm, it looks like I've got way more capacity than I actually need. I've got twice as much as I need. Maybe I can play with my water budget a bit then. It's not a huge input, but if I'm paying twice as much as I need. Okay, that's a, a little more income. Ah. I think I'm just going to have to cut budgets across the board until I get back in the green. And hopefully this isn't going to screw stuff up too much. I need the electricity. Right, looking nine. Ah. And my taxation, I need to fiddle with my taxes. I think 9% 9, nine alright, if I bump everything to 10, hopefully that won't annoy everyone too much. And will get me out of the hole. In fact, I'm going to go to 11. Turn my economy up to 11, okay. Right, so I'm losing 2k now. And um, well, I've I've gone negative already, so that's clearly. Hmm. <laughs> trouble with getting a loan is, unless you know what the problem is, you're just going to be throwing money at the loan. Oh, I'm saving a bit more now. Not demand, 
loans aren't in demand. Okay, so hopefully if I can just get in a bit more residential, I think. Maybe I can shave my shelf. Are there any blocks that I've missed out in that inner area that I wanted? Oh, there's, what's going on here? Why is this not assigned to residential? Is this too steep for people to build on or something? Oh, it's a park. Dirt. Oh, right, we're down to, at least we're down to a thousand being lost. It might just be a case of hanging hanging tight and waiting for people to get into these buildings and then get upgraded. And I'll keep on, keep on hearing dings, so clearly they like the place, and I'm seeing the occasional bit of scaffolding go up. Down to 800 loss now. So, it's definitely improvement. Ah, I've got a lovely demand for residential. I really, I think I just need to sit this out until it's all stabilised a bit. Um, I suppose I could do a little bit more residential. Trouble is, if I do this, and I need, I need more electricity anyway, which kind of is my biggest cost at the moment. I'll put a few more in there. I, mean, I think it's probably just because this place isn't high enough quality, but I can't afford to th throw parks at it. I know it's just generally the. the, the the amount of infrastructure I've got is costing slightly too much. Well, more than slightly too much. It's costing 900 too much per week. I suppose water is cheap. Well, piping is cheap. Uh, can I? Maybe if I just go down here. So I'm going to do this stuff at the front here. Not enough money. Okay, I can't buy anything. Okay, I just really have to hope that things <laughs> improve. I'm determined not to take a loan. No, we seem to be losing a little bit more than we were. Come on. Let's get our economy sorted out, please. I mean, really all we know we can do is admire the beautiful vista. It really is beautiful. And this game is fantastic looking. There's no two ways about it, especially at night. Flying over the city to go and have a look at the fire over here. The industrial fire through the pylons. Whee! Okay, well, we've got the, the boys from the fire brigade are dealing with it nicely. That has actually burnt down, hasn't it? So you were slow. Thanks, guys. I know I'm not giving you all the money that you require to run your service effectively. I'm sorry about that. Oh, we're losing more money again. Oh, what was that dong for? Uh, I guess that's people dying? Hmm. I'm still going deeper into the hole. <laughs> I'm sure more of observant viewers are busy pulling their hair out and going, Oh no, you've done this really obvious simple thing and I'm losing more and more money. Stop it! Stop the money loss now. I'm going to have to withdraw some of my lovely policies, I think. That's what I changed just before everything went horribly wrong. How's the budget looking now? Well, that's definitely... Oh, Right, well that's definitely fixed. I, I'm just not making enough money at the moment to... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. Water problem was a problem, was it? Uh, okay, I need to have that one. I need to have the water thing. Okay, sorry guys, didn't mean that. That's it, water feeling is slowly going back up again. Oh, I suppose I might have a similar problem with power. I think I had plenty of excess there. Better just check, well not plenty, just about enough. Okay, that's well, not brilliant. Oh, but I'm now making 2k a week, okay. So I just I just played too much money into policies, I'm afraid. Right, so we we'll just need to wait until we get back into I mean that was just amazing. That just sucked my Oh, I also did the recycling thing, didn't I as well? Okay. I just I just implemented far too many policies in a short space of time. I sort of have to incrementally bring them in as my earnings go up. 
That's kind of annoying that I lost all that money for no good reason. But there we go. Could we go away, bluebird thing? I don't like you. You have nothing of any interest to tell me. Right. Um, so I want to do a similar thing here and have like an isolated island of buildings here. I think. I'm trying to avoid allowing too much coming. I mean, these these are going to turn into major arterial feeders here at some point. I'm sure. Not just yet. Anyway, we're back in black almost. Another couple of weeks. And then we can start building again. I must more, be more uh, careful about these things in future, not just going randomly, well not randomly, but ticking a whole bunch of boxes one after each other and expecting it all to smoothly carry on without a hitch. Oh, that's annoying because I, like I said, I, I let the game run whilst it seemed to be fairly steady state for a while to make some money. Oh my god. That's a big fire. And that's showing up a problem which is that the trucks do have a bit of difficulty getting here. I'm kind of, I don't know if I'm... I can't really put a connection on, onto there. That's kind of like a motorway road thingy, isn't it? I need to, I need to be oh that's not good. I need to be feeding that traffic over onto here or something like that, but I can't do that until I own this square. Which I might get because I want that'll give me a, a whole free bunch of road. Um it'll allow me to fix that problem there because this traffic is definitely building up quite nastily. This is the only way into the industrial area. So this road is getting well used. <laughs> they do like having fires, don't they? Well, I guess I just took all the f smoke detectors away or something. I forgot my own check now. No, we've still got smoke detectors. Cool. They're just letting things burn down because they're, I don't know, careless with matches or something. That does look sweet. That is just so beautiful, uh, apart from the um, <coughs> corpse symbols. But they're slowly disappearing. Rubbish might be a bit of a problem. Oh, I think I might have grown a bit too fast and furiously. Let's see if we can... Um, some deeply unhappy people and a building that's fallen into abandonment. Let's get rid of that. Have we got any others? What's this thing here? you complaining about? Not enough customers, okay. Well, we're going to change that. I will put a road in approximately across to there. Are people parking out on the highway? Okay. That's a new one. And it's not like there aren't plenty of parking spaces off the heavily trafficked road. I mean, someone's parked their car out in the middle of nowhere there. Okay. Right, well let's put in a road across here so that the customers can get to whatever these guys are complaining about. Insufficient sewerage. <laughs> so that, that's my water budget fiddling kicking in, I'm afraid. Slide that up a little bit. don't really want sewerage piling up in the streets, do we? I mean, presumably I just, like, turned up a, a valve at the water pumping station or something. Why are the fires? <laughs> fires are real. All the time. Okay, let's get on with this link road. Not enough money? Come on. I'm making money so I should be able to pay for it. Next tick. Mm -hmm. 1800? Come on. This tick. There we go. Not a perfect join but 
hopefully it will do the job and now people can go shopping and ting. Um, I, that is a two lane road, and yes it is, I can see it. Okay, so that's a bit of improvement. Oh, I'll have commercial pretty much all in this area, up there, I think. I am doing things to stop the fires, it's just taking a while. We need to get back in black, you need to pay more taxes and, and do more work and things. Oh, we're having brownouts now. Can we have the good good stuff? Yes we can, but I can't afford them yet. Okay, so these I'm going to be using these guys here and putting them out in the water along here. Which will give me a bit more free land over there. Uh, assuming that the brownouts don't annoy my townsfolk so much that they all start moving out. How much do these chaps cost? Uh, 1200 mm -hmm, that's quite a lot. I might have to go for a loan, because I think having brown oats is going to... Yeah. Didn't want to do it, but I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to see the loan sharks. What do we get? 20, so that'll buy me... Two of those generators. Which will hopefully alleviate the problem. Yeah, stop complaining about electricity. Go on, start spinning. Join the grid. That made barely any difference at all. Okay, well at least I'm producing slightly more than's being used. And we haven't got electricity warning icons all over the place. Right, so we're pretty much down to money's going up. People are dying occasionally and it's being dealt with. People have stopped complaining about not having customers because they can come across here now. Oh, we need it. Quick building demolish there, and that was one of the ones that suffered from not having customers. Uh, hopefully, uh, where did I put Right, so the cemetery is up there. He's To get over here, he has to drive an insane route, quite probably. He's probably going to go that way and down here, which is why it's taking so long. these guys developing. It should be. You want me to knock you down? You, you're asking for commercial, but they, you're not making your commercial buildings any bigger. Let's see what happens if I go and knock these out here and let the whole block redevelop. Is that going to improve things? And that one there and that one there. Because that's where those electricity pylons are coming across before, and I guess it stopped development. It just put small units on there and then didn't leave enough space for big units. That's my thinking, anyway. That's looking pretty. Uh, we pretty doubled the size since the beginning of the recording, which is a win. Um, are we still suffering many, many deaths not being dealt with? Where are the hearses? Is there a way of finding the hearses? Is it because our medical care is not on full budget, I wonder? So that is part of it. Hearses in to see stored. Uh, they look very busy. And my health care is a little underfunded. Can I afford to go up? Just a tad. Can I go to 70% without breaking everything? Okay, we're still getting 900 simoleons, or whatever you want to call them. Moolahs, whatever, coming in. Hopefully that will have... Let's see if that's increased. Right, we've got an extra hearse. <laughs> so hopefully they will deal with... I mean, cause, uh, I'm a bit surprised because... Ah, there we go, there's one. Because these chaps can pick up 10 at a time. And he's only got 20% on so far. And he's just driven past a building that had a dead person. Okay. Maybe he's doing them in sort of at the time they died. Alright, so everyone's happy now. Well, those are happy. Oh, uh, don't tell me you've got to go all the way across town now to go and pick someone up from the Franklin residence and missing the ones that are actually closer. Do I sense a scheduling problem with the coding? I think I do. I think I'm pretty sure that the hearses pick people up in the order that they die, so even if 
people on opposite sides of the town doing the least efficient route. I'll still go and get them. That's a bit silly. But they're getting dealt with slowly and hopefully once it's... Yeah, and he's going back into the commercial area now. Let's pick up some more. Is that neighbourhood sloop there? Shop. Neighbourhood shop. Nope, he's not picking up from there. Is there another one for... Oh, there's one there. Yay, that's the one. Well, at least the <laughs> at least we got up, got rid of the dead corpses lying on the supermarket floor before the supermarket got shut down for uh, hygiene violations. No, I wouldn't want that, would we? He's going to go in here? No. Oh, there's just so many dead people along this stretch of road. <laughs> oh, lordy, I did a bad thing. Death in this game is a bit of a problem because obviously everyone moves into the town in waves, which means they tend to. I think they die when they're a hundred years old or something. Uh, it's a fairly simple rule. Uh, so the, you basically you get people tending to die on the waves in which they moved into the city. So after you've done a bit of residential building, a hundred years later, you'll get a load of dead peoples. Anyway, that seems to be being sorted out now. Which is good, right? And I'm back in black. Um, I wonder if I can pay off some of that loan now, or even all of it. No, I uh, got 18k to pay. I just need to really sit on my hands and not fiddle too much and blow loads of money. Let stuff upgrade by itself. That just is such a sweet view. I love that. So we got. Uh, what we got at the moment? We've got industrial demand. We've pretty much filled up this area here. I think I might just put a road across there to make transport a little bit less rubbishy. Uh, I'm going to break a rule here and put in a straight piece of road. It's a terrible thing for me to do, but it's done now. I'll just rezone those. Excellent. Um. I guess no, that, that covers pretty much that area. Uh, at least the trucks are going straight across that, well, kind of straight across that junction now. No, I need to... Oh, that is the industrial area that they were going down the commercial road. Oh, that's pretty much perfect and how I wanted it. But I de oh, I definitely need to be doing something about this incoming traffic. Uh, probably do give the industrial area its own kind of s slip road off of the motorway down this kind of way here, I think. Which means I have to buy that section. I think that's the only, only one I'm going to fix. I knew this was going to be a problem here. This this little bit where the, the city first gets joined is always a bit of an issue. Um, and backs up after a while once the city starts growing. So I need to have a good think about what I want to do there. But I've stabilised my finances, so we've gone from being in the black at the beginning, losing all our money, to at least getting the money back again. We've got a nice little bit of suburbia growing up here, with most of the uh, vital food groups you need to grow your, your babby city. We've got the cemetery for people dying. We've got some medical going on somewhere in here. Is that it over there? No, that's this. Ooh, I don't think we send sick people there. Not, not in this reality, anyway. Um, and we still got people incoming, which is brilliant. Uh, I'm probably going to fill up the rest of that area, and I've got to definitely because I'm, I'm going to run out of industrial area in here at some point. So I, I, I've got to buy this bit. I've got to buy this bit. And I, what I think I'll do is I'll leave the game running for a little bit just to build up some more money so I can throw it all away again by making stupid policies. But I'm pretty happy with this. It looks fairly self-sustaining. Um, there's more residents than there are jobs at the moment, which is always a bonus. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here. If you like the series, please like and subscribe. There will be more coming. And I will bid you farewell until the next edition of uh, City Skylines. Bye-bye now.